because um, we, um, we, well, we just went through down the traditional startup path. So um, typically in startup, um, I don't know how, like you, it's one hundred and fifty thousand pounds is your kind of friends and family round, um, and you kind of go out and pitch to lots of friends and family. Actually, usually they end up being friends of friends or like angel investors. Um, who buy into either getting a tax break because it's like an SEIS qualification for them, so they immediately get 50% of the amount they invest um, back, <laughs> which is great. Um, or uh, people who really believe in your idea, but a lot of people at that stage are just kind of like investing in you and your business. Um, but that's a very traditional startup way of doing things, and that's kind of where we went. Um, yeah. Just because, again, I think it would have been a lot harder to go into, um, you know, kind of impact um, investors. So I'm, I'm not sure I'd recommend. It's quite a. Um, I felt like it was a very tiresome process, um, pitching and kind of following up on leads. But um, but yeah, if you can get money another way, as a charity, that might be an option. But I, but I think, I, I think how fun has raised money is really interesting for all of us. And in terms of when the world of charity and business that does good blurs, because you can create a business that does good. You don't need a charity as a you know formal venture, formal organisation to do good. So it's like I'm a bit, I get sometimes confused, and I have to stop thinking about it. About like like what's the future of charity as a legal structure versus actually a business that can do good? Because fun, it's got a business ultimately doing good but will make money so it can go out and I mean you say it was a pain in the arse but you raised like nearly 200 grand in five weeks Amazing. <laughs> right Com and then com and then compared to what that would take in the grant money world and then the, the, the like pitch deck there's a great pitch deck that you had to put in front of the angels the, the investors but the amount of detail in that, and the amount of due diligence, is nowhere compared to what you'd have to do to get grant funding for that. So there's like more money available from investors, and then like Fung's got loads of city investors who actually buy into the benefits of investing in a business that has a social purpose. That's really interesting. It's quicker, and there's much less due diligence, which is weird, but also awesome. <laughs> so I think, like, I guess my challenge back to you would be, do you need to have a charity, or could you kind of have a business and just deliver good through it, and therefore set up, run, access different finance? Okay, I'm afraid we're out of time. So let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs>